All right, so in this video, I'm going to rig my my mesh here to the bones that I created here. Now you'll notice I didn't create bones for all of those pieces because yeah, it's going to take me forever. This video is going to be like three hours long, but the 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 manner in which I you do the rest of it is pretty much the same as what I just did for this leg here. All right, so you can just you know kind of learn from that and just extend your knowledge and, and apply it to the rest of the, the gears here. But anyways, let's just uh, back to rigging this mesh. So I, I like to use the skin modifier and then I just click on the skin here. Now you want to add all the bones. Uh, just You can go ahead and click select all and then boom. Now it's going to create like a default weighting and the default weighting it's going to be kind of shit but we're gonna fix that, don't worry. Yeah, see, see like <laughs> yeah, that's not good. Alright, so we're let's let's go ahead and fix all of that. <coughs> so first thing I like to do is I like to just select all of it and then I just make sure it's all I just start from the top. I just make sure it's all uh, root plane. Added some stuff that I don't need here. Oh, okay, so it's it seems to I uh, seem to have added this part of the spline, but yeah, I, I don't really want that to be part of my uh, my rake. So you can just go ahead and remove point. Yeah, these are just parts of the spline. Th these are the control points of the spline. So yeah, I don't want that. Go ahead. Well, shit. Oh, sorry, I was removing cross sections. Oh, okay, sorry, remove bone. There we go. Alright. <coughs> and then line. Oh, line is the, the actual line of the spline. That's the name of the spline. So, yeah, I don't want to keep that. Nor do I want to rig it to the IK chain. Yeah, I only wanted it to rig to the, the actual bones, the wire bones. Right? So, yeah. Alright. <coughs> so, okay, that's all good. Now, I just want to rig it the rest of the pieces so right now it's all of the entire mesh is rigged to this root uh, the root bone so now I want to start rigging uh, the proper pieces so now let's go ahead and rig uh, to this gear here so I usually like to just kind of like uh, uh, you know, enough talk, let's just do it, I can't explain this. Now, when I'm uh, selecting, uh, make sure that it's uh, select element, it just makes things easier. That Basically what that means is when you click on a vertice, it'll select all the vertices uh, that are part of that uh, closed mesh. Once you select the meshes you want to uh, rig to this bone, you just go absolute effect, just crank it up to one. Now you want to get more. more. Yeah, it's a mesh. Sometimes it's a bit hard to see the bones here. You know, if it gets too hard to see, this is there's a trick that I like to do when I'm doing when I'm rigging. Uh, you can actually unhide this this shit that you're not like currently working on. So let's just go ahead and unhide this stuff. Select. 
Now you notice that I've selected the wires and the, this piston here that that don't really belong to the shock here. But we'll fix that later as we as we get to the those parts. But I'm just kind of rigging in a uh, top-down fashion, so it, it's easier to just come back here and just properly rig it. to the wheels. <clears throat> Max's orbit tools are the worst. So for the wire, I'm just gonna even hide that shit. All right. Okay, so because the wire is all one element, you wanna turn that off because I wanna be able to select uh, sub elements or sub pieces of this wire. So. So for this, is that part of the wire? Oh yeah, okay, so that's wire two. Oh shit, I was way off. <laughs> whatever, whatever. This is just a lesson, it's not. You guys are gonna do a better job on you. All right, and that one. Okay, now we can go ahead and unhide the rest of the mesh. The fuck is my... Oh, sorry. Okay. There we go. Okay, okay, let's just test. Oh, I forgot to do the, the struts here. Oh, sorry, let's just... Okay, let's just concentrate on struts. Strut.
Oh shit, I'm gonna turn back, select my element. Okay. Test to see it all. Looks good. All right, cool. I think this is good. We're gonna. So in the next video, I'm just gonna animate this thing and show you how to export it to Unreal.